Life is like a blaze of vibrant colors, easily seen when it's bright. But what happens when inevitable darkness cloaks us? This is Challenge 3 of I Am Freedom Awards and we are here to be free with colors. Remember that light becomes evident in darkness. Become the light that illuminates the dark and glow. First of all, I'd like to thank you for your continuous support from hundreds of entries all over the world. Now we're down to the top 10 and this is my final video for me to qualify to the top 5 of I Am Freedom Awards, which means I need your help once again for me to reach the top 5 and finally go to... London, grabe London. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Voting is absolutely free and guaranteed no spamming to your email whatsoever. All you need to do is go to www.iamfreedomawards.com forward slash vote and you just need to input your nickname, your email, and the candidate of your choice, which is hopefully me. One email is entitled to three votes per day. That means if you have one email, you can give me three votes every day. Please, I beg you. <laughs> Deadline for this video is on September 7th, so voting period should start at around September 10 or so. Isang kemot na lang para sa London, so sana di kayo magsawang sumuporta at bumoto. Um, maraming salamat, daghang salamat. Salamat ka host. Uh, and yeah, maybe let's go ahead and watch the video. Hopefully, this will bring me to the top five. Let go! First, I use Pro Studio Strobe Cream from Freedom to moisturize and illuminate my skin. Apply it generously to make the foundation glide later on. Next is the Silicon Base Primer to minimize pores and control oil. This helps in longevity and makes a barrier for the loads of pigments that we will use on our face later. Next, we need to block our eyebrows and here I'm using a standard glue stick from the school supplies department. This is water-based so don't worry about your eyebrows, it will come off easily. Once the eyebrows are flat and fixed, we can go ahead and set it with powder. I'm using the light powder from the Pro Strobe palette. Then just apply your foundation. If you're planning to use this for a black light or a rave party, make sure to use a long-lasting base. Buff that into your skin and gently dab that on the eyebrow area to deposit more product. If the coverage is not enough, then go ahead and use a concealer to further block your eyebrows. I use the same Pro Conceal and Correct palette for my under eye area, nose bridge, and chin. Buff and blend that in, then lightly set it with powder. I use the same light powder from the Freedom Pro Contour Palette. Once done with the base, we can start playing with colors. To make the colors more vibrant, especially on the eye area, I apply this light cream shade from this contour stick. Put that all over the lids, including the space between my eyes. After blending, we can finally start our eye makeup. Quick backstory on conceptualizing this look, I actually planned on making my own UV reactive makeup. Surprisingly, this Pro 12 Chasing Rainbows palette from Freedom has two beautiful shades of UV reactive powders. But my attempt of wet application to make it more opaque miserably failed. It was tricky and simply not pretty. So I just applied the neon yellow and pink as they are and they were perfect. About the combination of colors, basically I just let the palette talk to me and let my hand just grab whatever color it wanted to do so. The Chasing Rainbows palette had a very good selection of colors so it was a pretty easy job. I put green next to the yellow then followed by blue then did the same thing on the other side of my face. 
I then pack the neon pink on my forehead, making it as opaque as possible. Then gradually blending the colors together, yellow and pink to make orange and blue and pink to make a very beautiful shade of purple. I used a dense brush to deposit the pigments and then later on a fluffier one to blend everything well. The neon colors are concentrated on the central part of my face and as I go to the perimeter, the color went darker. If you don't have UV reacted makeup, you can make your own using your standard highlighters. I smashed a pink one to get the fluorescent ink and mix that with my silicone primer. Turn on the black light while mixing to make sure that you get the perfect glowing ratio. I drew curves and flourish patterns using this DIY neon paint. This one, same with commercial UV paints, is quite tricky and tricky to handle. So aside from a creative mind, you need a lot of patience when you're working with this one. Painting with a black light on also helps in making sure that you don't miss any spots in your pattern. Now, I just want to share an alternative in case you don't want to use highlighters on your face. You know when you go to bars, some drinks actually light up and seemingly glow in the dark. It's because of the tonic water that they put in your drinks. Tonic water has quinine. It's actually an anti-malarial drug that gives it that bluish glow under a UV light. One way to use it is maybe by making a glow-in-the-dark jello for SFX. Definitely need to experiment on that soon. Anyway, done with the highlighter details, now get your black eyeliner and add more design to this rave look. Since I made soft curved patterns with a pink one, I decided to add more structured geometric patterns to this look. And I think the embedded lines on the Chasing Rainbows palette also inspired me to go with this design. Honestly, I was just drawing lines and patterns as I go and yeah, I guess this is the whole point of this look, right? We can freely decide on the color, shapes, lines, and design because we should just be free and happy with makeup. Just one tip though, if you want to make your design symmetrical, after drawing one shape on one side, do the same thing right away on the other side. Alright, and after this black mess, I just went back to my lower lids and put a little bit of yellow to orange gradient on that area. And we are almost done with this look. We just need to add some falsies and a simple liner to avoid overpowering the design that we put up there on our forehead. I also went ahead and used these nail art gems and attached them with lash glue to embellish this look. And another tip that you need to remember is make sure that you don't have glue on the tweezer itself because it's going to be a pain to attach the gems. Easy, carefully, tap tap. We made it. Next, get a beautiful peachy blush and use that as your contour and blush as well. And with a finer brush, I picked up the same shade to contour my nose. Then we are going to highlight our face with this very beautiful yellow tone highlighter in Glow. Easily one of my favorites. Next, we'll go to the lips. I think you can also pair this with a dark lippy, but I decided to go with this beautiful Pearl Melts nude color in debut. I know that matte lippy is the trend nowadays, but I'm actually starting to love this glossy finish as well. Add in a little bit of loving to my neck using the blue powder from the same palette and adding more color using the pink and peach blush. Then topping that off with the same neon pink powder. And finally, to make this look party proof, use your setting spray generously. This is the final look. I hope you learned something and you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to vote and help me reach the top 5 of I Am Freedom Awards. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.